Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We've been using the new Kin 2 for about a couple weeks now. But one of the coolest features is the Kin Studio that you can access from any web browser. Alright, so this is the Kin Studio. It's a uh, Silver, Silverlight application that you get to from the browser. You go to Kin.com and you, you can't log in until after you set up your Kin phone with your Windows Live ID. After you've done that on the phone, you come to Kin.com and you log into the studio with that same Live ID and you get something like this. Um, obviously, you have to wait a little while and you have to take some pictures and they'll show up here. So uh, this is your timeline. It shows that I'm looking at May, the month. We can look at it in week or day mode and we see some uh, messages those from different people there. We have a spot we have some contacts that we recently spoke to on the phone uh, some of them that don't have pictures are exchange contacts this does not the studio does not sync with exchange but the kin does and you also have some cool uh, multi-touch stuff going on here you can shrink it that's kinda cool um, anyway, let's click on a picture, and it's going to load that picture, and you can click to the next one, like so. Up here we can upload it to Facebook, MySpace, or Windows Live. Our More button lets us favorite, rotate it, download it, or delete it. And we can go to the next one. Here's a video. This is a silver light. You can watch your video right here. And you can upload it to Facebook or MySpace or download it or delete it and over here is a map so this is pretty cool too that's going to show you a map of where we took the picture and we got some multi-touch going on and you can see some other pictures are over there by the river you can see those and you got your zoom and uh, pan tools but multi-touch works nicely Alright, we can go to some of my other pictures that happened over here. There's the spot. So that's pretty nice. Oops. And we got more pictures. Now you notice the background is, uh, you know, a faded back photo of mine. So if I want to change that, I can add a favorite. It's going to add to my favorites. And the background is going to change to that newest favorite picture. Your item was added to favorites. There we are. So I can go back. Now you see that new picture is back right, right back there. Pretty nice. And over here is a loop. Pretty similar to the loop on your phone. You get your updates from uh, MySpace, Facebook, you see them over here, Twitter, The Onion. You can uh, favorite your feeds so that they'll show up on the loop in your phone. I unfavorited Twitter, so I only have MySpace, The Onion, Facebook, KinScoop, and Kin Tips. But you can still access them from here. Here's our Pocket Now feed. You can load any RSS feed here. And there we are. And up here, I can tap that. And just like uh, on the phone, we can update our status for Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter all from the same place. You can also do the drag and drop into the loop, I mean in the spot. There's Ray's info. Here's his Facebook page. This is Windows Live information.
So it's all separated. You can also check out your photos and videos from this section. Now they're all in a grid format. We still have our timeline up here. You can see them in a different layout, more thumbnails. Again, we'll get back to this. Messages, you can see all your text in MMS. Also by timeline, you can't send text messages from here. You can't initiate them. These are people I called. Contacts. This is all of them. I've loaded like thousands from Windows Live, MySpace, Facebook, Exchange. You can see them all here. You got your favorites. The ones without pictures are from Exchange. So there you go, that's pretty much it. Uh, Kin Studio, great web-based management system for all your photos and contacts and RSS feeds and status updates and everything for the Kin. That's it for now.